Well, I just picked up a battery for my uh, lawnmower, lawn tractor, and uh, as a matter of fact, yesterday um, I actually had Tesla service change my 12 volt battery. Um, I had gone to Virginia Wednesday a week ago, or Wednesday last week, and uh, I think Thursday I got a notification that the 12 volt battery needed to was low or needed to be replaced and certain things wouldn't function and one of those things were the USB ports would not work dash cam wouldn't work and so it was important me, for me to fix it so I went on the app and said I look I'm in Virginia do 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 and they scheduled it for actually today in Virginia well that really wasn't acceptable to me because I was not planning on being in Virginia today and um, so and I'm not so um, they rescheduled it for mobile service on uh, August uh, 3rd I believe and uh, rather than be without um, my USB ports and whatever I asked them to reschedule it for the Cherry Hill Service Center and this is all via text and sure enough they did in fact do all of that and um, whoa they did in fact do all of that and uh, my car was scheduled for yesterday morning at 11 o'clock I arrived there and in less than I would say 15 minutes max they told me my car was ready and um, I was ha did have an issue with a piece of trim on the inside and I asked them well could you just look at this and tell me if this should be covered well they actually spent 40 minutes fixing the pieces of trim of course at no charge and my service um, with them was um, excellent um, they were busy 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 um, but people would uh, were pulling in and out the service was so quick and I was quite impressed and no, the service did not cost me anything other than to drive there. I was wondering if it was going to try to get in the correct lane there, the turn lane. It scared me a little bit going so fast. I looked and said, yeah, it's going to turn in 300 feet. Okay. interesting fact about uh, Tesla full self drive since they merged the two the highway stack has been updated uh, and I was definitely afraid that they were going to actually break the highway version of uh, autopilot because it is a pleasure to drive long distances it does a remarkable job well they actually have improved it a whole lot better, but I didn't realize uh, until yesterday it was pouring rain and I was on the Atlantic City City Expressway. And the speed limit in, in the location I was was 65. However, the weather was inclement. It was raining. It did tell me full self-drive was uh, degraded but at the same time, other cars you could see were actually not doing 65 or 75 miles an hour. I don't know why we keep slowing up. I could think it was that person walking with that uh, blower, possibly. But um, I looked over and it said the speed limit was 60 here, 65 here, but the max speed was 60. 
and normally you can take this scroll wheel and scroll it up and it'll go like 46 I could tell it to go to 50 55 whatever I could not um, when it was raining and I believe that it realized that due to the conditions it needed to slow down and um, not go the speed limit and I think that was a huge improvement because I worry about the car one hydroplaning two I worry about you know as other cars pass you you kind of get blinded because of the rain spray or the road spray so I thought that was good um, and you learn something new about your car every day kind of so We'll see how well this drives us here. Um, there were a couple little unusual stop and starts that I didn't like, you know, but we'll see. Um, <clears throat> we'll see how well it does or how poorly, I should say, that it does on this turn here. For some reason, this turn has been broken for uh, ever since 10.69. Now, see why Why is it pulling out way, it made a really wide turn there, very uncomfortable. And yes, I did tap the accelerator because it was coming to a stop and confusing those people. Anyhow, it was confusing to me. But apparently it can drive us at least uh, eight tenths of the way uh, from AutoZone. Maybe a complete drive. Who knows? We have a person that looks like uh, on the side of the road, possibly. Bicyclist, possibly. doesn't see it yet sees the car does see the bicycle is immediately slowed down it's tracking this bicycle list right here okay and you can see it's plotting a path around it it knows that I'm turning at this corner right here so it's not necessarily trying to pass him. I thought it did a good job there. Uh, you know, it, it could have passed him, but at the same time, with us slowing down, he would have been riding next to us anyhow, so. And we are here.